Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso. And the thing is, entertainment news has to be spoken about. Graham and I are about to dive into some of the best stories that have uh, happened sort of in and around uh, South Africa, as well as the world of the past 24 hours. And of course, focus on some of your favorite celebrities. And first and foremost, you said Jen Su is always on the red carpet. Yeah, right? man. She will not hold back to get that interview, but also to highlight local stars. She is there to support and lift. And of course, what an opportunity at the BET 2023 Hip Hop Awards. I have a feeling this year, gravitas, even bigger. And it took place, of course, last night in Atlanta, Georgia. And our entertainment reporter, a girl with the finger on the pulse, Jen Su, was there on the green carpet to bring us all the highlights. It's even better than a red carpet. Take a look. <laughs> Hey there, and a very warm welcome to the BET Hip Hop Awards 2023 right here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Jen Su, and this is the green carpet. Have you seen a green one? This is my first, actually. This is quite fun. I've got my tails. I've got my dress of license plates. <laughs> and Fat Joe is going to be hosting. We also have our South African nominees, KO and the late AKA. So let's see all the highlights from the BET Hip Hop Awards 2023. What's up, y'all? This is K.O., Mr. Cash Time, all the way in Atlanta at the BET Hip Hop Awards 2023. Let's get it! We are literally receiving, yeah, it's an honorary Global Visionary Award. What an absolute honor it is, really, because Kenan was all of that. I mean, he was a visionary, he was a trailblazer, and I think this is such a deserving award for him at, you know, and obviously, We've lost him about eight months ago, and for me to stand here and, and get this on his behalf, I don't know, it's bittersweet, actually, but such such a big honor, not just for me, not just for the family, not for South Africa, but for Africa, because, I mean, that was really what it was about. Caro's here with me in Atlanta, and she's really excited to be here. She's always very excited to participate in anything that has to do with her dad or his music, or anything that reminds her and makes memories for her. And she's also just really excited to be here to experience Atlanta as, what do kids do here? Glammy, she calls me Glammy. <laughs> and that's what's happening at the BET Hip Hop Awards 2023. I'm Jen Sue. now back to you guys in studio. Oh man, and I think, um in that beautiful address, she left out AKA's um, fan base. You know? His fans to be able to relive those moments and reconnect with him. Absolutely beautiful, man. Thank you, Jen. Sure. What a beautiful uh, tribute as well. And, you know, I think saving with hip hop. So Drake yeah. has announced that he is taking a little break from his music career, saying, I need to focus on my health first and wow. foremost. Just hours after the release of his new album, For All the Dogs, I took a listen to a few of the tracks on the album as well. And you can almost feel like he just has a message yeah. in the album. I feel like what he wanted to do is not make commercially consumable music in, in a way, but maybe rather just look at the actual messages Tell behind what he's trying yeah, to say. Sure. Uh, almost like a, a little peace out for now. Yeah. But I'll be back soon. And I think that's the, the thing about, about Drake at the moment. He's been going through a, quite a lot. He has been always on for about two decades that's now. Correct. Think about it. He has been a common thread throughout the yeah. hip hop kind of kind of ebbs and flows. He's been a mainstay throughout. He's earned it, man. He's earned it, dude. Exactly, though. And also, I mean, he's got a kid. His five-year-old son, Adonis, oh, uh, oh. drew the artwork for the album as well. Apparently, a, a bit of a cameo on there as well, a couple of tracks, too. Oh. Um, so, of course, there, there's a video for the new single <laughs> of, <laughs> of the album <laughs> named Eta M and Charlotte. He also raps on the track Daylight, as I mentioned. So, the release of Drizzy's uh, track Slime, You Out, featuring Scissor and ex uh, Success, recently shot uh, the star up on the Billboard Hot 100 Charts, the song, which is on his upcoming album that, uh, for all the dogs, uh, album that I've been chatting about as well, uh, became his 12th number one hit. So uh, this achievement brings him closer to the legendary Michael wow. Jackson, who also had multiple chart toppers with 13 number one hits. And I think, here we go. You know, it's going to be maybe a good time to just take a little bit of a break. Uh, he'll be back next year. He'll be back in six months, boo chomping at the bit. I guarantee you. I absolutely guarantee Definitely. you. He's got that kind of work ethic. But uh, what, a, what a time to bow out and what a time to be Black Coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. On the 7th of October, Black Coffee made history with his sold out, baby. Sold out, fill it up Yo. show at Madison Square 
garden. It doesn't get bigger than that. He became the first South African DJ and producer to headline at the iconic venue. And I would imagine um, not many sell out like that. He celebrated the show with the gift from luxury brand Tiffany and Co. As oh, one yeah. does when you're on that level. And he was supported on stage by major league DJs, some absolute superstars, Busey, Delilah Montague, and even an orchestra, just to show how it's done. <laughs> some of the artists um, took to social media media to express their love for black coffee and including them in his iconic historical event. I don't know. I think, yeah, we talk about DJs having taken over from hip-hop stars as being like the real kind of yeah. celebrities in the music scene, but I think there is a collaborative nature within the EDM and that scene at the moment where it's like, I rise, we all rise, and people are bringing each other with, and I love it, man. And that's Look the thing, that. you know, I chatted to Black Coffee before, and you know what all he could say was, right, South Africans need to realize that you are dope. You've yeah. been dope. Stop thinking about yourself as a South African artist. Yeah. You are a global artist already. Start living like it. Like, act like you got the gig already. Yeah. And, and, you know, be passionate about your music. And I love that about it because he filled up Madison Square Garden. I so mean, can any other on. SA artist, if you believe. The greatest artists in history have filled up Madison Square Garden. It's like a mark of validation. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully that's inspired you.